Absolutely, Chris. And thanks for bringing that up. Um, AAS has traditionally been funded by um, maybe a grant here and there, depending on something going on. But really, it's been based on what we do. Um, and the funding sources really comes from our membership and comes from the training, certifications, workshops that we put on. And so um, some may think we get government funding or we have a line item or we have this large substantive grant or even a small grant, and, and we don't. Um, we do all that we do um, straight from those monies that we earn through putting on trainings, programs, the com conference, and so, so forth. So it's really important for us to be able to expand that. In this new vision and moving forward, we want to provide even more resources, toolkits, schools, teachers, parents, community leaders. We want to do even more training and, and education. And the goal is some of this would be free. A lot of it would be free for community people, teachers, parents, um, you name it. But the certifications and trainings are at a cost. And we try to keep those costs very low. But again, we are funded by um, bringing in the monies through those training certifications and education. So when someone donates, um, and they can do it in various ways, um, you know, for yourself and our director of development, Robert Coffey, um, have put together some really unique things through I Give, donating a car, um, you can donate um, stock or, or have an endowment um, of someone upon their death. Um, all those monies you can either choose a restricted thing for them to go to, such as the Suicide Life Threatening Journal or dedicated only to developing training and education. Um, there are seven different ways that you can choose where the money goes, whatever money you put in, anywhere from a dollar to whatever it is. Um, and then we do have, you know, an area where you can choose if you want it to be unrestricted. And that would mean that AAS chooses the opportunity of where best we can spend that money to get the education and resources and tools um, out to people. Uh, so there's lots of ways. If you're unsure and don't want to do it unrestricted, I know sometimes that bothers people because they want to know where their money's going. You can designate exactly where you want the money spent. And we keep copious records and we make sure that all of that money is spent exactly where it's designated to go. Um, but again, it is very important for AAS because we don't do you know, walks or sub sales or fundraisers um, in the hundreds like some other organizations do. And uh, we want to be able to continue to do the work each and every day that's so helpful. And we want to make an impact. Um, and Chris, we didn't talk about this, but um, some people may say that they didn't realize the make an impact. Where did that come from? I'm just now starting to see that. And that was one of the initiatives when I came on board in 2023 was, what are we doing this for? You know, to your point, why you came on board, um, why I came on board, we want to make a difference. We want to make a change. And at the end of the day, we want to make an impact. Um, so that is really now part of our slogan, if you want to call it that, part of our, um, it's actually part of our logo. Uh, it is everything that we do is based on the fact of, fact of making an impact. Advocacy, policy, research, education. It's all to make an impact.